Hi everyone, I'm Harriet Lawrence. I am the product manager for OpenShift GitOps at Red Hat. If you haven't heard of OpenShift GitOps, it's the Red Hat implementation of Argo CD and soon Argo rollouts as well. Red Hat is one of the, oh, too fast with my slides. Uh, Red Hat is one of the corporate contributors to the Argo project, which means our engineering team gets to spend a lot of time with all of you lovely folks in the Argo community. So today I'm talking about managed services. Managed services have been a really hot topic in the last year or so. The big surge in popularity of internal developer platforms and a really huge uptick in people using the term platform engineering. So let's start out with what even is a managed service? I feel like managed services used to just be like you've got your SaaS tools and then managed implies that there's another layer on top of that where something is being done on your behalf. Something like uh, Acuity's wonderful Enterprise Argo offering or Red Hat's Rosa, which is OpenShift on AWS. But it's broader than that. It also includes internal services, like if you're running your own internal developer platform, or even just having an Argo CD instance run by a DevOps team. And there've always been people at teams who would run these kind of internal services. And now that often invisible work is finally getting airtime but everything's kind of being bundled in together under platform engineering, which is great. But we can't forget what's making this all possible, and that's automation. CI, CD, and GitOps practices are the glue that bring automation and predictability to our managed services, and that is what allows them to scale. I see it as GitOps invisibly making these managed services successful. I'm hopeful that your teams and your organizations already see automation generally as an important investment, but if they don't, or if your stakeholders don't see it as an important part of managed services, then we've got to highlight it for them. So no matter what you're aiming for, if you're looking at an external managed service and stakeholders think you should be building it yourself, um, or you've got a budding internal service that you think could be really beneficial for your organization, if only you had some time to invest in the CI, CD and the automation. Either way, we need to take our stakeholders on a little journey so that they understand just how many moving parts make up one of these managed services. Folks on the product, business, and management side of things love to hear about time and energy being saved. And automation is obviously a star in that area. GitOps in particular is a great one to introduce to them. So you can talk to them about how it fits into your existing developer workflows. You can highlight the ease of disaster recovery when you've got everything in code. And you can talk about how automated reconciliation gives you self-healing infrastructure and applications right from day one. So, how do we actually get practices like GitOps the same level of attention and wide coverage as platform engineering is having right now? And we also want the industry generally to understand how vital automation is to these managed services. So if you're not using any of the Argo projects yet, start a POC, see how awesome they are. If you're already doing GitOps in some way, get out here, submit talks to conferences, do meetup groups, join virtual events and talk to absolutely everyone about it, not just your project stakeholders. We can help make the term GitOps as well understood and recognizable as SaaS is today. So thank you and enjoy ArcoCon.